Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne, and today I'm gonna to show you how to send a fax right from your smartphone. That's right, there is an app that you can download and you can basically take files from your phone, download them, and then upload them to this app, enter a phone number, and you can send it as a fax. So I'm gonna show you the whole process today. So let's jump right into it. Okay, first thing you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go to your email and I'm just gonna find an email and I'm gonna have something to download so you can see the entire process. Here is an email that has a link. There's something in here I need to download. So I'm gonna hit the download button here. And I'm gonna, there's a little pop-up here saying it's blocked. I'm gonna hit allow. Now I'm gonna hit download label and pay attention to where it's downloading the label. So right here, it's showing me, this is the name of the file and this is the, the folder it's gonna to go to. It's called the downloads folder. I'm gonna hit download. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the home button. I'm gonna to go to the Play Store and I'm gonna search for an app called Tiny Facts. Tiny Facts. We're gonna hit the install button. Now, just as a disclaimer, uh, this app is a paid app. It's free to download it and they give you the first two uh, pages of a fax for free and after that you have to pay. So just keep that in mind, it is free to download it, but there is a small charge if you want to send a fax and the first fax is free, they basically give you a chance to test out the service and after that you do have to pay. And here on the main page it shows you, you can send a free fax, it says send your first two page fax absolutely free. I'm gonna tap on send free fax and basically I'm gonna enter the fax number at the top here. Now here's where you can add a subject or you can put, hey, attention, this person, I'm sending you a fax. And then here is where you're gonna actually add your fax. We're gonna tap on that plus. And you can add from a few different places, uh, but again, the easiest way is what I showed you at the beginning, which was just simply downloading a file to the phone first and then finding it. So tap on upload. So it's gonna take you right to your files and your specifically your recent files. And so because I just downloaded this file, it's showing up right at the top of the list. However, if you don't see your file, you'll wanna tap on this little menu in the corner and go down to the downloads folder or documents, depending on where you save the file. You can also pull a file from your Google Drive by tapping on Drive right here. I'm gonna tap on the first option. This is the one I wanna fax. And as you can see, it's added it right to the document and it's only one page. So guess what? I'm going to be able to send this first one for free. I'm going to enter a phone number now to fax to. And then again, I'm going to put attention, A-T-T-N, George. And then I'll put like, you know, for Wayne. Okay, and now I'm gonna hit send first fax free. Uploading file, your fax is being sent. And that's it, all right? Now, the cool thing is um, the app will show you the progress right here. And so um, when I used this yesterday, it took about maybe two minutes for it to fully go through, but you'll just wanna watch this section and it'll tell you once the fax has officially gone through. And that's it. Uh, then you can always go to receive to look at the file later. You have a few other options down here at the bottom too. So now one important note is that once you send that fax and you get a confirmation that it's been sent here, make sure you call ahead and have them confirm that they received it because obviously there is, you know, the chance that maybe it could not be received. Maybe the person on the other end doesn't have paper in their fax. I mean, there could be a few different reasons, but always confirm once it says it's sent to make sure it got to where it was going, all right? If you found this helpful, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.